it's been a while since I've made a video. I miss talking to you guys. I've just been very busy. In case you don't know, I'm a therapist in training and I love it, love it. And today I wanted to talk about those moments when you feel like life is just too big for you. That feeling of not being prepared, not being good enough, not being adequate. I wanted to share with you guys two possible reasons why you may be feeling this way and they might surprise you. First one I wanted to talk about is taking responsibility for other people's actions. We see that a lot with trauma or with abuse when the person who's been abused sometimes has a hard time separating themselves from what was done to them so they can carry a sense of responsibility for it that's not theirs, a sense of guilt or yucky feeling that doesn't belong to them, belongs to the abuser but they, they just have a hard time not being enmeshed in that situation as though they made it happen. But even if you're not talking about a situation of abuse, we're all vulnerable to question our own beliefs or what we know to be true about ourselves just because of someone else's mistakes. And when that happens a lot, it's usually because of the second possible reason why you may be feeling like life is too much for you. Just like you can get into a physical habit, uh, walking a certain way or eating a certain type of food, you can get into a thought habit, a thought process, a way of processing information, a way of thinking of yourself automatically without realizing. You can actually get addicted to thinking of yourself as really small. You know the story of David and Goliath from the Bible? I mean, regardless of who believes, you probably know the story and it's interesting that David never stopped to think of what if he failed <laughs> because he would have died a really painful death like instead he just asked him what's the reward for you know tackling the giant before he even went in there he could he truly believed that he could be the one to conquer the giant this reminds me of one of my sessions when I was talking to someone who was you know really really afraid of failing really afraid of rejection and I asked them I flipped the question well are you afraid of actually things actually working out what if you are good enough it might not seem like it but that can be a really scary thought because that would mean a lot of changes that you will have to do in order to be that person and that just might feel really daunting for example if you want a promotion but you don't see yourself as that person doing that job i mean instinctively you're gonna be doing stuff that's gonna pull you further and further away from that that you wish you could have. Same thing with relationships. If you don't see yourself as lovable, you're gonna shy away from love. If you don't see yourself as someone who could possibly be assertive, who could possibly be confident and make your own decisions, you're gonna make sure you put yourself in situations where other people will make sure you don't do that. You don't become that person. And looking at all the circumstances that you don't like is much easier than looking at yourself. I hope this video encourages you to be excited about spending time with yourself. Be excited about moments, even if they're sad moments, but moments when you have the opportunity to get to know yourself. You can't love somebody if you don't get to know them. So you need that time, even if it hurts. And then you might meet somebody who you were afraid of, but that's actually pretty cool. What about you? Have you met yourself? <laughs> Let me know in the comments so I'll get to know yourself too. What are the topics you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comments as well. I would love, love, love to know. And if you like this video, let me know by clicking on the like button, that's all I know. <laughs> and click on the subscribe button in case you haven't already so you can be notified when I post a new video. You might need to click on the little bell button as well to make sure because they don't always notify just by the subscribe button. Anyway, I appreciate all the clicks and I'll see you again on the next video.